Hey everybody. So I have a few friends who have tried to play Kerbal Space Engineers and they invariably run into some troubles before they can really get going. And a common, uh, a common problem that people seem to run into is that um, they aren't able to unlock the, the technology that gets them further and further off planet and most people seem to get stuck before they can even get into orbit. And I know that for me, you know, the game starts to really uh, take off yeah, pun. Yeah, uh, it starts to really get interesting as soon as you can get into orbit and start, you know, exploring some of the the moons and, and planets that are out there. Uh, so I just wanted to make a, a hopefully quick little guide to, to show you how to get going and, and how to unlock these points without, you know, kind of backing yourself into a hole. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do, this is a fresh career game. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and grab some easy, I think I only have by default two uh two contracts contracts are what's going to give you money and money is what you use to build your ships and science and science is what you use to unlock new technology uh, you also get some some reputation points but who cares if people like us um, so we're going to gather some scientific data from Kerbin, and we're also going to launch our first vessel we don't really need to worry about about these other things right now and if i go back to the research and development here and i look at this um Actually, maybe this is not the best place to go. We'll go right into the vehicle assembly. So if I go down to science, uh, well, apparently I need to put a command pod. So now if I go down to science, I can see that, uh, don't worry about these. These are just from a mod called Kerbal Engineer Redux, this fellow right here. Highly recommend it. It's just going to give you a little bit of information about your craft when building it. Check it out, but by no means required. So these two are part of that, I think. Uh, however, this mystery goo, this is going to let us do some experiments and get some science data. So I am just going to build. All we need to do is get some science. So I'm going to make a very simple little ship that has an engine. I don't even think I have any parts and a parachute so that we don't die horribly when we land. Uh, I'm going to make sure that we're staged separately here. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to make it very far but I want to be able to do some sciencey things. So I'm going to stick, let's just start with four mystery goo containers on here. You can put more, but, but I'm just going to go with four. So I'm going to launch my vessel and there's a bunch of things that I can do. So I can use mystery goo containers to do some research and to get some science. So right there, I get three science when I recover that. So I'm going to click keep experiment and I'm going to do it again. So now I've got these two experiments. Uh, they have science. I'm also going to do a crew report, if I could find the option. That's going to give me 1.5 science. So I'm going to keep that as well. Uh, I don't think I can do an EVA. Oh, I can do an EVA. So I'm going to do an EVA report as well. And then I'm going to get back in. And now I can just launch my vessel. So I'm just going to go up. And then when I'm out of fuel, I'll come back down. But when I land, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little bit more science than I would have. Also, while I'm in the air, I can observe the mystery goo on these two containers for some more science. Um. So while we're waiting for this this craft to gracefully come to a stop and then fall back, um. Something to note is that the way that science works is that you can do uh, experiments multiple times, but you have to be aware that there's like diminishing returns on how much science they give you. So this mystery goo container, the first time I do that experiment, I'm going to get 100% of the science. I'm just going to pop my parachute now. I get 100% of the science. Um, and then the second time I do that experiment in the same place, I'll get like 50% and then 25% and then I think I think it's like a half, a quarter, and an eighth, something like that. So you get diminishing returns, but it's always worth it to do that same experiment at least twice. And also, um, doing that experiment in different places will reset that amount. So you saw that the first two mystery goo containers, I did that in on the launch pad, and that's one biome. Uh, so then I did that twice, and then the second one was while I was actually in, in the air. And 
if you if you make sure that you kind of do your experiments in every you know every new place then you'll kind of be able to to maximize the amount of science that you get uh, so i'm just going to speed things up a little bit here to land this we'll see how much science we got and then we'll make a new craft and get even more science because for science so now when i recover my vessel I got 31 science out of that mission. Great. So now we're going to unlock some stuff that's going to let us do even more science and go a little further. But first and foremost, if I check this Engineering 101 Tech Tree tab, I get a thermometer, and that's going to let me do some more experiments. Definitely want that. Basic rocketry, just going to let us get a little bit further. And uh, kind of just looking for science. We have a, a barometer. But we're only going to really, really be able to collect that on Kerbin. We're not going to be anywhere with an atmosphere for a while. So I'm not too worried about that to the exclusion of, of the other things. Um, radial decouplers are great. We also got a stack decoupler. Uh, that's a whole other topic, but... Okay, I think we can take these things right here. Sure. Uh, do we need stability? You know what? Sure. We'll just we'll just we'll just go for higher. Okay. Cool. So um, now we have completed those two missions. So now we get two more, and and you have to be careful. Um, so these observational surveys they usually give money, but they're a pain in the butt to complete, and they don't really give you a lot of science. So you kind of want to just make sure that you're picking ones that, that give you science. Um, so escape the atmosphere, that's a good one. We'll just take that. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to get to orbit, but let's see if there's anything else. Uh, testing the stack decoupler. These test ones are usually pretty good, but they have some funky requirements that can be a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, however, this is a good one. Haul a parachute into flight above Kerbin. Well, we're going to do that anyway. Uh, presumably. So... We'll take, you know what, nah, we'll just take orbit. We'll just go for it. I don't want to get too involved. You guys get the idea. So what we're going to want to do is at least escape the atmosphere. So we're going to need to build a, a craft that is capable of that. And also, uh, we are going to want our, our experiments to come back to the surface with us. So we're going to have to put them on our main spacecraft. So I'll put a couple of temperature gauges and well, let's go with four of these and then two mystery goo because we did those already and then we're just going to make a quick little spacecraft. I don't know if we're going to need, no we don't have any anyway, cool. Alright, did I get, no I didn't get side decouplers. Hmm, that's actually going to be a bit of a challenge, but that's okay. Uh, so we'll go with the Reliant. I knew there was a reason I wanted those side decouplers, but it's not really going to change a whole lot of things. We're still going to be able to do some science. And then we'll just stick ourselves a big booster on the bottom of this. And I think we're also going to need some... Okay, well we'll see if this even stays up. I might have to edit this out. <laughs> but let's see what happens. So, um, we are going to go for escaping the atmosphere, check our staging, make sure that everything's good. Uh, yeah, those can go at the same time. Cool, no problem. So, launch. Always remember to turn your SAS on, even if it's just for, for stability assist. So we'll do our first two ex experiments on the launch pad. And then we don't need to do a crew report here. We'll do a crew report up in the air. And so off we go. 
not really going to be worried about Corbett at this point, so we're just going to go for, for getting as high as we can and doing whatever experiments we can at that altitude. So when a solid booster is done, we're going to dump it and we're going to use our next stage to try to get a little bit higher. pitch over a little bit because I don't think I'm going to get into orbit but I'm definitely going to break the atmosphere what are we gonna do here? oh yeah we're already we're already out of the atmosphere cool went a little bit further than I intended but that's okay so we'll just aim in and drop our next phase a little bit further. And then we'll just go atmosphere ends at 70,000 meters in Kerbal Space Program. So now that we're up here, we can do the rest of our experiments. Observe our mystery view. And you can see you get a lot more science points now that you're out of the atmosphere than you do are the ones that we used than you do on the surface. And then, can I do an EVA? No, I can't. Okay. Uh, did I do a crew report? No. Cool. So now we're just going to time warp until we get back in the atmosphere and we're, we're going to do our re-entry. Hopefully not explode. worth noting and actually maybe I'm just gonna because I can always do this one yeah we're gonna get a re-entry So this should give us a lot more science. And also we completed the Escape the Atmosphere mission. And as soon as we land here, we can see what we got. Cool, so we got 62 science out of that jazz. Also, now oh, apparently we haven't done anything noteworthy in order to get experience, but that's fine. Uh, let's just complete our missions. Cool, so now we can go spend our points. So I was mistaken when I said we didn't need this one already because these radial stack decouplers are super helpful. So we'll get that. Uh, also, we'll get some better parachutes. And then I think that's all we can get. But based on what we did last time, we should be able to get into it. So I'm actually going to just stop this video here. Um, I had gone further ahead, and, and I think that that you know was just going on too long. So I'm going to create a different video to to kind of pick up off where the last one left off and just show you getting a, a simple craft into orbit. Uh, so I will see you guys in the next one, and thanks for watching.